basically game plan started back in 2007 with the two founding members and uh, the story started on a conversation on a boat where the, the two partners at the time really looked at look, how can we bring training into the middle east to make it more engaging more power more powerpoints etc and because what they realized here is that training was just powerpoint presentations so the idea was to do something different and more impactful so that's how game plan set up with basically making training a lot more engaging uh, more powerful uh, more empowering uh, etc and making learning a lot of fun okay but also having an impact on on the business results uh, so for many years we were a training organization uh, and that was our core expertise and then come 2019 as I took over the company and really started to diversify and I looked at basically different other services that we could offer uh, as well as just training so then we expanded and we, we do HR consultancy um, training is obviously uh, our core business and then I took on some executive coaches and we do coaching, one-to-one -one coaching, uh, executive coaching and also life coaching. And we've actually also partnered with organizations, companies in the US and the UK. And we have, for example, assessment products, okay? Um, which look at leadership assessment, 360s, etc. So if I look back at the history, we were We've gone from being a trading company to a fully fledged HR consultancy company, but offering a lot more services to, to our clients. Uh, and that's where we are today. So we work all, all across the, the GCC and the, the, the industries that we work in is, for example, FMCG companies, um, pharmaceutical companies. Uh, we also work in, in distribution. Um, also, over the last couple of years, we work with investment companies, both in the UAE and also in um, Saudi Arabia. So there's some of the industries that we work with. In terms of our core, core products and services we offer, it, everything falls under the umbrella of HR consultancy. Okay, um, and then that adds training, coaching and also the assessment related uh, products that we have and, and that's what we actually offer all across the GCC. This is by being able to measure uh, performance, for example, KPIs, uh, etc. Sales performance, individual performance. What we start to do is we take away subjectivity. Okay. What we bring in now is objectivity here because we have a set of results, uh, a set of information that can really help us to make value decisions. For example, we can value performance because now we can measure it. Okay. It's not subjective anymore. Okay. It helps us with decision making. Yeah, empowering companies that once we've got um, the information required, it can help us to plan the strategy for the next three to five years plus. Uh, and it actually helps us to help resource, uh, resource allocation. Where do we need to invest more in people? And where do we need to probably invest a little bit less? But we can only do this is when we put a system in place that gives us the data, the information that we're looking for. And you've you've heard the whole saying is if you can't measure something you can't manage it yeah uh, and that, that's the key to all this so we need to be able to, to manage what we do it's in order to do that we have to measure it i see the, the, the working with profit it couldn't have come at a better time for for, for the market and also for game plan um, what we tend to found it in, and COVID was probably, you know, enlightened this a lot more is companies and organizations, especially our clients started talking about KPIs, uh, performance management, um, engagement surveys, which when I look before COVID, this was something that people like to talk about, but didn't really take any action. 
what I think I realize organizations realize that we, we need to now be able to evaluate the performance of our people, set objectives, OKRs, et cetera. So our clients started to do everything manual using the traditional method of Excel spreadsheets, et cetera. And our partner in the profit, it, it's helped us to go back to our clients and say, let's move on and use technology to help us. Okay, and that's where the relationship with profit has developed because we're moving now from a, a manual system to an automated system using technology. Um, I think where it's really helping organizations is transparency. Okay, so you've got core objectives being set across the whole business. And because of the whole system, we've got a more transparent working culture, which is which is a change from where it used to be. And that's where the partnership is really developing with profit is that it's helping us uh, moving clients away from a manual um, manual OKRs and KPIs, etc., to have, having everything automated. The, the mission for game, game Plan is we want to be continuing to add value to with our clients. Uh, we want to be able to innovate and introduce new technologies, new methods of learning, new methods of assessing, uh, because as an organization, we, we, we believe in continuous improvement. So we, by improving our, our offerings is working with companies like Profit is help, actually helping us add value to our clients, um, which is basically I'm really excited about. been in the region now for, for, for 19 years so we moved over back in 2004 it, it's exciting I think is the only answer it, it's it's exciting because there's so much happening at such a fast pace when I first came over to the UAE everyone was talking about the expansion of the UAE etc really exciting times now you look at the progress of Qatar in the last couple of years, especially with the World Cup. And now you're looking at Saudi Arabia with the Vision 2030. It's an exciting place to be. And being in the UAE gives us access to the whole of the of the GCC and, and beyond. It's very strategically placed, um, this part of the world and being in the UAE and gives us a real good reach uh, across many different continents. In terms of expansion, what I'm really looking at is, in, is um, enhancing our service offerings, is what we'll be able to go into the market and, and offer our clients. Um, we're already in a GCC, we cover the whole of the GCC and have done for the last um, 19, oh, since 2007. Okay, I think for me, if I look beyond the, the GCC, I'd like to start expanding to Africa and also um, parts of Europe as well because I'm sure our products and services will, will really be a, a benefit to organizations uh, across those continents. I think when it comes to what we what we have been bringing um, for, the, for the last number of years, is basically our approach. And our approach is really to partner with clients to see, for our partners to see but we're a value-add organization. I, I want to make so sure we're an organization that really stays ahead of the game. Uh, and I think the key word here, I, I want to help our clients to make sure they get a return on their investment, but they're also achieving the objectives that they're looking for, whether it's sales-related, whether it's performance-related, et cetera. That's, we we want to be as a value-added HR consultancy that really makes a difference with organizations and, and help them achieve what they need to in terms of their goals and their objectives.